Hello everybody, welcome back to Dominions 5. Uh, let's continue our late age game as Tian Shi from whence the salt flows. So in the... Oh, this is interesting. What happened here? Uh, hang on. First of all, okay, let's do this in order. Found a magic site, Graveyard of the Damned. Nice. Okay, so here Pan is just rolling along. Oh, we might finally see Lemuria's Bless if he actually casts the Bless spell. But he might not. Animate Skeleton, Animate Dead. He's gonna go off script. No, we never got to see it. He never blessed himself. Okay. Uh, then... Oh, okay, we're just both pinging. <laughs> both pinging this fort. Uh, this uh, throne. So, we've confirmed that it is an Air Astral Death 3. And Fire Earth. And also a bunch of Phantasmal Warriors. Uh, so this is actually a pretty easy province to take. There's potentially Air Elementals. But this is probably going to be Skele Spam. And there's not going to be like big Fire Elementals. Uh, so this is not too bad. Unexpected Event Water Gems plus 6. I'll take it. Now the ping came from Micklin, which implies to me that, oh, there we go, Micklin right here. So Micklin is to our northeast, although we might not, well, we don't currently have a border with them. We might not ever have a border with them. We'll see. Okay, so um, let's uh, follow through with our plans here. So first of all, Palisades, let's get, uh, I guess we'll get a temple first. Let's go ahead with this scout and poke this throne. Let's move in this way. Move in that way. Move in this way. in like so. Now what's interesting here is I think what we could do is we could do like this. These are all uh, regular heavy cav. But we could just search with these guys. These guys could preach. And, um... Like, let's go attack this province here. Um, because... This is just going to be PD. If he moves ghosts, if he moves an army in, then all we've lost is a bit of barbarian heavy cav. And if 
if he doesn't, then that's more than enough to take on this PD. So let's do that. And let's also keep track of what happens with Pan's army. If Pan wants to take a crack at Lemuria's uh, cap right off the bat, I'm fine letting him do that. Um, we can very quickly... Uh, so if Pan does this... I'm going to take my army and go and take this throne real quick. Um, and you know that kind of means I might... No, I could still kind of move around with these mages and sight search a little bit. Just so I don't waste uh, the mage trends completely. You know, if that happens, I kind of think I want to have a lab here. This might have to become a Fort Province. Maybe this becomes the Fort Province. Maybe I move here because this is a much better province. Okay, I changed my mind. Maybe that's what maybe that's what happens. Uh, let's see next turn where Pen moves, and we can make a decision about what we do with our with our mages. Although. Yeah, I think we're okay to wait until next turn. These guys can all move here. That's fine. So these are mercs. All right, this is another concern. Yeah, this this Merc squad. See, these Mercs have no... Either he's attacking Atlantis, or he's going to come with me. Like, why are these Mercs here? This is not necessarily clear. Because I can turn this army around and crush this... He's using these guys. Man, they would get wrecked. Um, it's just that this is a swamp. All right, my move here might be to move back this way. Uh, I'm going to have to try to get a firm answer out of Erythea whether he wants to fight me or not. Um, that might derail some of our plans with Lemuria, but it looks like Pan and everybody else is getting quite heavily involved. So I'm not too worried about Lemuria coming back and, and sort of counter raiding me. Um, one thing that would be nice is after we get Alteration, I definitely want to get Construction so I can get an underwater an underwater breathing item so that I can take one of these Shamblers and actually go underwater here and uh, take that province. Um, yeah. Uh, now I'm still floating a bit of gold, but... Um, that's because we will be making, making uh, labs and uh, temples here and here. And in fact, I'm kind of thinking I should move uh, another guy out here to get that new temple and lab started. Uh, it'll save time compared to moving this guy. He could just start researching once his lab and temple are built. Um, 
so I don't actually have that much money to spend if I'm building these every turn. Plus, this is going to be finished. It's gonna need, we're gonna need to start the four construction. So I think we're doing okay on uh, on money here on resources. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it for now. Um, this is concerning, but. If he's not doing anything with any kind of sacreds or anything like that, then we'll just kind of kill his army. Um, dealing with underwater is going to be annoying, but like he could try to raid me, but I'm pretty good at counter raiding. Um, it's just not what I wanted to do, but this is better for me. I mean, So I was thinking I could actually take on Lemuria itself. But there's an alternative world where I just kind of do my little part here, take these two provinces, and Lemuria's caught up fighting Pan and Atlantis, and they do all the work of fighting his real army. Meanwhile, I chill here with a kind of real army, but really all I'm doing is I'm kind of building, you know, I build a lab here, just kind of research, build a fort, chill out. And uh, with a small army, but meanwhile, my all my sacreds are kind of here, and I'm I'm actually fighting a war with uh, with Erythea, if that's what Erythea wants. Uh, this Palisades is going. Yeah, let's do let's do this for now. Let's do that. Um, anyways, uh, if the Diplo changes, uh, I'll certainly mention it in the next episode. But for now, that's this has to be sort of our plan. And I'll see you guys next turn. Take care.